Okay, I'm now going to start the first part of the manual rigging tutorial se series. So to begin with, we're going to show you how to create the bones. So um, let's explain the um, uh, the essential point of bones. So bo the bones are the create kind of pivots to move the uh, character around. Um, so um, if you use the create bone tool, you can see you can draw bones out like this. If you hold shift, you can move the bone around. Um, if you hold control, you can select a previous bone. And you shift will move that around. Um, keep you can keep drawing bones, or if you right click, you you will start a new bone. Um, so basically, unparents it. And um, once you've finished, uh, you can either press enter or finish bone. And that that's the essence of drawing the bones. Um, you want to actually, when you create uh, the bones on a character, you want to you want them to go into the middle of the character. To do that, um, make sure the character has a mesh collider on it. And um, in this case, I'm just kind of locked it. I've put it on a transparent layer and I've locked it over here so that uh, I don't accidentally select it. So what we'll do is just go create bone tool. You can see when I create these bones, it's creating it into the center of the character. Um, so that's uh, that's very useful. Um, the Actually, what I'm going to show you is a, another bone creation tool, but this one actually creates the controls with it. So this is called the spline tool. So the spline tool makes these kind of bendy, um, like spi spline-like um, controls. So you can see it like works. It could be really good for tails, tentacles, all those things. You can do as many as you want. The, this shows you how many bones are going to be between each control. Um, so in our case, I want to use those for the spine. So you can. Use. So what we're going to do is we're going to click in here and over here, and just use two controls. You can see that these controls are going to be very nice for the upper body and the lower body because um, that you can rotate them and it kind of maintains a kind of nice sort of arc. And then you know you can tr uh, translate them. And it's going to be very nice, uh, useful controls for um, for the spine. Um, so I'm going to start with those ones. Um, I'm going to hold that and create bone tool. So let's just start creating um, some some bones for the shoulder and one for the elbow and one for the wrist. Let's press enter. If we're not happy with it, we can always go back to the bone tool and um, hold shift and move it around. Uh, oops, finish. Um, yeah, let's maybe move this one around as well. It's just that. And um, let's do the same on the other side. Let's just check that it's all good. Yeah. So let's do the um, thigh. And, there, and just do one for the foot. Yeah. And one more. Okay, so now we want to name all the bones. Oh, actually, let's add some neck bones first. like that one's not in the center. Okay, so 